So there is a project called the Arch Linux GUI project, or should I say, there used to be. And originally, it was created by a person called Demon Killer from India. And the aim of this project was to have much easier installers for, you guessed it, Arch Linux. But at the time, there was a couple of issues between uh, the name and uh, because of the name, the Arch community didn't want uh, it, them for people to think that it was re actually related to the Arch project. And eventually, I believe the project got renamed and there was all this internal stuff and it is what it is. Cut a long story short, the project was discontinued. Anyway, a new person by Xfusion has gone and revived the project and changed the domain name to archlinuxgui.com and of course it's back and it's back in the GNOME edition, Plasma, XFCE, etc. However, today there is a version I really want us to look at and it is the, and I quote here, XP edition. And uh, this uh, almost looks more like XP than Windows XP itself. So I think it uses the Cinnamon desktop environment. And as I say, it's uh, for the Windows XP lovers. So let's go ahead and install that. So I'm going to spin up a new VM. I'm just going to give my ISA image. Uh, ALGXP. And it's Arch. I'll give this eight, six gigs of memory, eight cores. I just make it a hundred gig, and I just call it a LGXP. And here we are. Doesn't this look a bit familiar? Uh, here, of course, the same uh, type of icon set: show desktop volume white networks, printers, and if I click here on the start menu, it does definitely have an XP-ish feeling to it. But what I'm going to do is look at how we install this, and then we can take a look from there. Okay, install Arch Linux. The Calamari's installer, so let's go next. I'm just going to run through this. Next, next, erase the disk. We don't need a swap petition, so VM. My name, a strong password, this is the same password for root install, and uh, I'll of course come back once it's installed. All done, let's reboot. Okay, so yeah, definitely the cinnamon environment. And let's log in. And first thing I'm going to do is let's fix the resolution. So, I guess system settings. And you can see now I've taken, gotten definitely the XP icon set. Might not be, if I remember, display. And let's give this thing a better resolution. Okay, here we go. So this is the ALG XP edition. Uh, as you can see here, we've got the whole start menu thing going on here. Uh, we have the system settings essentially the whole lunar theme going on here and of course this is the cinnamon desktop environment that they've gone and customized it quite uh, interestingly uh, you can even just see here on the themes uh, xp luna xp icons uh, interestingly though they've chosen the majavi curses i would have expected them to have chosen a um, if they're copying windows xp then Obviously, usually the Windows XP mouse cursor is white, uh, so I'm surprised they didn't do that. It's like they did everything else and they left that one small detail. But interesting. Uh, system versions, as you can see, uh, it is Arch Linux. It's uh, using uh, one of the newer kernels and a uh, later Cinnamon 5.8.4. 
and of course on the desktop of a right click I can create a new folder uh, which looks very much like a Windows XP type folder and here at the bottom of course if I click on Nemo uh, this is the Nemo file manager again which they've tried to make look like XP and they surprisingly haven't done a bad job of it uh, I'm just going to hide the hidden files I'm going to go to documents go to downloads, music, okay so there's nothing in here but a really interesting look um, going down to printers configure printer configuration uh, network just so network settings uh, volume just the launching the volume player the time and show desktop and of course here we have a terminal uh, the GNOME terminal and of course here should be Firefox okay so really quite vanilla uh, setup here there's really not very much else added to it uh, they don't generally even include uh, I think Git or Yay here but let's take a look and I must admit and I click through that quite quickly the interesting theme of uh, going on here with uh, Firefox it really does seem to have a XP-ish type theme as well so it's a nice touch okay looking at the applications accessories gedit then virtual keyboard screenshot and even gedit has been got some theming going on here okay graphics image viewer okay sadly this just stands on all by itself doesn't uh, look integrated uh, internet firefox vnc server browsers uh, ftp uh, sound and admin vlc rhythm box this looks uh, wow uh, well, but at last for words i don't know if this looks awesome or if this looks terrible uh, but it definitely looks like something uh, it, I guess it does suit the XP theme. Some large buttons going on here. Wow, okay. Never in my life did I think I'd see a rhythm box themed like that. Uh, VLC. Looks like good old VLC. Uh, admin. System monitor. Terminal users and groups. System monitor. Ooh. Uh, this will be the nerve system monitor, I'm sure. Yeah. So we can see here it's only using about a gig of memory. Uh, relatively about twenty percent CPU usage, which is isn't high, although the fact it's not actually doing much. I'm wondering what it's actually doing. And of course all these uh processes here. And of course uh not only using three point six gigs uh, storage space. Uh, back to preferences basically all the settings you had in settings the places connect to if we want to connect to a public uh, FTP SSH web dev or secure web dev basically a version of Arch and making it look like Windows XP they have done a great job at that they've really gone out there gotten the, the correct themings uh, applied those themes from wherever they got them from and if you were going to put this on a screen quickly, it's really, uh, unless you really start looking at the start menu and you start uh, looking at start and you start nitpicking, it really does look like a quick, believable version of XP. And granted for that, I think it's awesome. And I think if uh, you want to start getting people onto uh, using something else other than Windows XP now, since it's so outdated and maybe you want them to use Linux, Great, great way of doing it. I don't know if I necessarily would do it with Arch Linux, but hey, that's cool. My, my only issue is here, if you, you're obviously trying to make Arch easier for a person by doing it like this. I have no problem with that. I think that's awesome. My issue is though, there's no app store. There's no app store. 
uh, at all. And if you're gonna try to make Arch easier for someone, like, then at least add an app store. I don't, like, I find it really, really weird. They've gone through all this trouble. And I think it looks, it, it looks great. But, no app store, it's, it's, it's just, it's just bizarre. It's like running a race and then just two seconds away from then. Uh, as if they, uh, I, yeah, it would be, it would be nice to see this come out, give it a bit of an app store or, or something. Uh, AR, of course, there's no AR helpers here. There's even, generally, they don't even have multi lip or multi libraries available either at the box. So if you try to install 32 bit software on here, it's not going to work. You're going to have to uh, enable that under the Pac Man configuration. So, who's this for? Well, obviously, for folks that uh, like Windows XP and want to relive the XP days. And doing it with Linux, and let's be very honest with you. Uh, Linux has come quite far that you can probably get away with it now. I, I wouldn't mind seeing something like this maybe based in a bit of a different distro for, for, for some users. But apart from that, uh, I think it's great work. It's, it's, it, it could fool quite a lot of people before you start clicking around. And uh, yeah, uh, to the ARG folks, uh, at least add a two things on your website maybe add a disclaimer to say you're not actually related to the arch project right because uh, uh, i can see how new users can get confused here yeah? and secondly add a bit of a software installed it to to this os me out the box obviously me and advanced users know how to do that but i mean if you're adding an xp theme to it i think you, you you're trying to aim some converts here at least on the xp days uh, and I would take it as new users. In that case, just add an app store or something. Apart from that, pretty great, pretty vanilla install. So yeah, why not try it and let me know your thoughts. As always folks, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.